Welcome everyone to Brick System Brothers. My name is Nathan Masters. Lego has announced their ideas medieval blacksmith shop. The page is live on their website and it says it's coming soon on February 1st, 2021. So uh, let's round up some details here. Uh, yes, it is. All the pictures here are available on the Lego site, but personally I like to use the brick set for these pictures. I can blow them up to full screen and really take a close look uh, at their full resolution. So I'll be on here on Brickset for the rest of the video looking at these. Um, on the announcement page, on their announcement, we can see that there are 2,164 pieces. It's going to retail for $150 in the U.S. and the other prices are here um, for some of the other countries around the world. And like it says on the LEGO page, released on the 1st of February. That's two weeks away. Uh, that's also the end of our 1,000 subscriber challenge where we're doing a giveaway. So go check that out. This is ideas number 33, and uh, did I say the set number? This, Yeah, 21325 is the set number for the ideas line. Um, so the announcement page has some of the um, kind of story behind it, you know, the stuff that LEGO publishes with their images. Uh, it's worth reading. I'm not going to go through the details, um, but there's a poll down here that I wanted to mention. Brickset runs the poll. Will you be buying this set? And 40% uh, responses say yes, eventually they want to buy the set. 21% haven't made up my mind. 20% are buying on day one, so that's a day one purchase. Um, and then the other ones, no, but I like it. Too expensive, doesn't interest me. So pretty good spread there. Uh, it looks like there is significant interest in at least picking this set up eventually, if not on day one. Uh, I'm in the camp of yes, eventually. Uh, I don't think I need to pick this up on February 1st, but I would like to buy the blacksmith shop eventually. It is a $150 set, so maybe timing that right throughout the year. I try to make one or two big Lego purchases a year um, and some smaller ones in between. But um, the other thing is it doesn't happen very often these days because Lego has been getting more popular and the demand is rising. But if you are patient and you keep an eye on the site, sometimes these larger sets will go on sale. Um, I don't really want to stake a lot on waiting for this to go on sale because as we've seen over the past year, if you wait too long, stuff gets sold out, out of stock, um, and then it's retired and it's gone and you've missed your chance. So I don't mind spending the full price on the set. I just don't want to do that on day one and be part of the chaos of the day one ordering. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, but let's look at the set itself. The Ideas branding can be found here and here, uh, but this band at the bottom is actually kind of a parallel from the 18 plus branding, which is uh, Lego's attempt to include the adult market and the AFL market in their products and um, in their box art. To me, this is a missed opportunity. I think uh, looking at the rich history of Lego Ideas, there are a lot of boxes and box art that stand out. Um, where th the background can really complement the set itself. And I think that should have been done here. I think we should have had some kind of background to, to kind of put this in a setting, um, maybe like a fall, autumn background, autumnal background. I think the plain black um, that is used from the 18 plus box art, which looks good for a lot of sets, um, and you know, I don't think Lego should never do a plain black background. I think it does help to emphasize just the set itself. You know, what you see is what you get, that kind of thing. Um, but in this case, um, Lego Ideas is not 18 plus, and I don't know as they should be trying to fit it into that mold. So just a little gripe of mine of just the box choice and the packaging choice. The set itself, it doesn't, you know, detract necessarily from the pieces um, and people that don't keep the boxes aren't going to care um, but you know the box is part of the experience it's part of what makes it a set and not just a pile of lego bricks so just wanted to note that so let's work our way down from the top and see what we can see here up at the top there are some kind of wooden structures um, that are maybe representing the support beams of the roof protruding up above the ridge line so i like those i like the curved pieces used there and then uh, when we get to the roof, we actually see these Nexonite shields used as the shingles, as the roof tiles. 
So that's a pretty cool design. Um, I like the blue, sand green, and dark blue color combination. Uh, the other thing that we've got here is the color grading. As you go down the roof, it starts with this sand green color, fades into a blue, which fades into a dark blue, and by the time you get to the bottom, there's actually a couple of black roof pieces. Um, so just uh, kind of a weathering effect on there, and I really like the colors, the combination coming together. In fact, the roof colors complement the wall colors extremely well with our white and tan and reddish brown making up the wall color. So uh, very pleasing color combinations there. Um, those blues and greens confined to the roof um, and then the more natural colors on the walls just really comes together very nicely. Um, some people might mention the original idea submission was a bit more toned down. You know, it had some dark brown. Um, in the walls. Um, I actually haven't taken a very close look at the original submission but remember the point of ideas at the end of the day when you vote for a project on ideas that's in the name of the platform you're voting for an idea you're not voting for this project brick for brick to become a Lego set and I think sometimes people forget that and they say well Lego changed it way too much they should have left all this original and what LEGO wants to do is strike a balance between the original project submission and a, the product that they're going to release as part of um, their product line, their product family. And they don't want to lose uh, kind of the identity that they've built over the years. Uh, their sets are vibrant, their colors are vibrant, and when you look at a LEGO set, you can say, yeah, that's LEGO. So um, a lot of the stuff that gets through ideas becomes an official set but does get changed along the way I think you know you look at what goes into a project to get changed from a very nice looking mock but definitely you can tell it's a mock in someone else's project and then on upon release we have an idea set that you can tell is from Lego with effort put into the design and I don't want to say the designers um, the fan designers don't put effort into it because they do and that's evident in some of the designs that have changed very little on the way through. But I also want to point out that just because LEGO made changes doesn't mean they're detracting from the fan design. And oftentimes, in fact, I think, in my opinion, every change LEGO has made to LEGO Ideas projects is for the better. So that can be argued back and forth. I know that's one of the main things I've seen in the comments and conversations had about LEGO Ideas is why does LEGO change the original design so much if people voted for the way that it was submitted. Just remember people are voting for an idea not for a piece for piece LEGO set. So that's what I understand LEGO Ideas to be about. If I had a project on LEGO Ideas that got supported and approved and LEGO changed it, I wouldn't be you know, furious that they wanted to do something a little bit different than the pieces specifically I had put together. I think I'd be happy just to see something go through and be incorporated into this great line of sets. Um, so just wanted to note that um, and you know there's more discussion to be had about that for sure. And uh, as we work our way down here more um, down past the dormer we get to kind of the two main floors so the upstairs and the basement, or maybe not really a basement, it's more of a downstairs, it's not buried underground very much. These are the floors fully furnished. Of course the upstairs is furnished as well, we'll look at the interior images. Um, but they're all removable, you can see the gap here with the tiles, somewhat like a modular building, you can take the floors off. And then the forge is actually down here on the lower floor. We've also got a good look at the minifigs. The blacksmith himself, uh, Lego calls this an archer. So, you know, could be the blacksmith's wife, could be someone else. And then there are two falcon knights coming along the trail uh, with their horse to get some work done with the weapons and armor. Um, so we have the updated falcon knight prince right there. Uh, we have the new Lego hairpiece from the Pirates of Barracuda Bay in dark orange. And the blacksmith apron print on the torso. And then our archer is using some dual molded legs. Uh, I don't think any of these pieces are brand new prints, um, but a new, a fresh combination. This torso is pretty recent. Um, there's also kind of a husky dog here, so I'm not sure, you know, would you see a husky in a medieval blacksmith shop? I guess it depends 
on where it's located maybe in like a northern Europe setting that wouldn't be too far off so uh, yeah plenty of fun stuff added in you know it's not just the building we've also got the characters and uh, the Falcon Knights have their own dedicated wagon uh, going on over there so if we look at some of the interior pictures I think we'll start with the uh, basement floor and look inside here this is kind of angled over uh, in the back corner of the house we've got a box full of iron which is represented by some black 1x2 ingot bars and there's actually an orange one of those on the forge that maybe represents uh, glowing hot metal and then up on the wall we've got um, some armor shoulder pads a shield helmet and bucket in the background so um, not only is there an interior there is a polished interior and it looks very well done the second floor um, not a great look from this angle but we can see there's a fireplace here that continues up from the chimney which is started down below there's also some kind of uh, thing to hold maybe a pot of stew over the fire if I can find a different angle of that floor we'll look at that uh, that's the basement here's the uh, dining room table so yeah you've got your little stove top right here by the fire and table and chairs chairs actually built out of these axe pieces so a little more effort into um, some of the models inside the house um, in past sets you know when Lego needs a chair well they have a 2x2 two two chair element but for the idea set I like to put in the effort there um, so plenty of stuff going on in there and then let's look quickly at the upstairs I think this is one of my favorite details included here the bearskin rug built out of bricks um, it's just a couple different tile shapes but you can immediately tell what it's supposed to represent um, just very well done detail added in here at the top floor uh, again the bed with the woodworking and framework kind of nestled in the corner looks pretty cool the patchwork quilt made out of some different blues and greens um, and I think that kind of reflects the colors used on the roof as well that's that's nice the treasure chest I think this is in the white nugget color and it's got a little rucksack in there and there's actually a fireplace in the top floor as well all the way towards the top so you know you want to have that heat at every floor of the building so that fireplace there just a little opening but uh, great detail to include and then a little writing desk area under the window at the uh, dormer in the end of the house gable end uh, from here you can also see how the double slope is achieved we've got the mixel ball joints now when you combine one or two of these you get a pretty stiff um, hinge so there's actually four here we've got one one behind the pillar two two three four mixel ball, ball joints uh, on each side of the roof so that's really holding this you know where that changes an angle holding that in place pretty securely um, and it reminds me of the choice to use the mixel ball joints in the Ecto-1 so Lego really reaching out with their part selection usually you want to use a ball joint where you need many degrees of motion um, but in this case when you line them up you can get one degree of motion but also provide a very stiff connection and that's what we want on the roof we want that to kind of remain in place so the upstairs here looking great um, it, it doesn't look crowded because you know while we do have furniture we don't have too much furniture so I think that's important to note that's done well here's a different angle down at the bottom floor so here's the table that we were looking at before now over here we can see uh, there's maybe a little coal pile that you can use to heat the furnace up and then um, the furnace itself is actually partly in the building and partly on the outside so you can work on it from both sides I think the little outdoor stand um, is probably the the nicer place where you would expect to go and see the forge itself with the brickwork aligned um, and it has this uh, very detailed base of the chimney so you can just like imagine the heat that would be radiating from the forge down here uh, there's also some sand green masonry bricks thrown in along the bottom so that color change down with the olive green and sand green um, just bringing in all the detail there little bellows access for the forge to give that the heat and I don't know if we've got a picture I think it's on the back of the box it shows that there is a light brick included to actually light up the forge with that glowing red color so another great detail to include 
in the blacksmith shop and uh, we've already looked at this picture here's a print on the 2x4 tile so those are some of the details that pop out to me when I'm first looking at this and I'm sure you guys have seen some other ones um, the actual the other side of the roof you can see it right here there's no dormers or anything it's mostly just the roof tiles um, but they have included some details where there's actually like you know missing tiles or starting to get run down a little bit so just the detail included at that level is pretty cool um, if you're looking at this and you're thinking oh well these look like they're a slightly different color uh, remember that this changes angle so up on the steep part where these dark blue ones are is actually reflecting the light a little bit differently than it is down here um, so keep that in mind I think these are going to be the same color based on what we see on the other side of the roof um, just in terms of how that looks when you change the angle and you look at it straight from above you can't necessarily see the angle very well but you can see that the light is reflected slightly differently so just wanted to mention that that was something that I kind of tripped me up at first until I realized so um, yeah the pieces the piece count here is over 2100 pieces for $150 just value wise it's looking really good um, and then in itself the subject matter medieval blacksmith people have been clamoring for Lego to go back to classic castle for a long time a lot of people remember those from their childhood and as they've grown up maybe got back into Lego after taking a break um, looking for Lego to go back to that theme um, it's kind of a, an evergreen theme but Lego doesn't do a lot with it these days so you know they had their Nexo Knights for a while and I think they kind of reboot castle themes in specific waves and Nexo Knights was kind of the last one of those so now that Nexo Knights is done that's kind of opened the doors for something else to come out of Lego um, in this castle medieval theme I don't want to say that the blacksmith shop is going to like occupy the entire share of that um, but it's definitely going to kind of fill a gap um, a very obvious gap in the Lego product range uh, that we've wanted to see for a long time so some some well done minifigs the tan horse great detail here and overall a beautiful rendition of the original idea submitted on Lego ideas for number 33 um, like I said I would like to pick this up eventually but if I talk about it on the channel it's probably going to be in a little while so stick around I'll probably talk about it um, I'll probably look at it in the future but it won't be right away um, February 1st is when this releases so we can probably expect to see reviews uh, with the actual product in hand coming out about that time just not here so um, yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments about the blacksmith set I think Lego has done a great job bringing their own update to it and to make it fit in the Lego product line I think it was a missed opportunity to not do some box art in the background um, the plain black background that works well for most 18 plus sets doesn't really work here in my opinion the other thing I would have loved to see um, but I understand that we don't have it would be a dual molded sword with some trans neon orange in the blade down to like a metallic silver or pearl silver in the hilt and that would just represent like you know the tip of the blade is still red hot um, and the handle is cooled down I know Lego can do dual molded weapons they've done it for Ninjago before would have been awesome to have that piece be exclusive to the blacksmith shop but as far as I can tell we don't have anything like that we do have a brick built halberd um, using our monkey kid staff bars a spear and an axe clip um, so halberds in the past have been one specific piece and now it's brick built um, the updated minifigs are one of my favorite things from ideas like in Barracuda Bay they updated the pirates minifigs so now drawing on past themes like the Falcon Knights and giving them 2021 print detailing is really cool I want to see more of it um, I think it's it's a great way to stay true to the roots of where the set comes from and Lego history but also bring something fresh and new to the 2021 product lineup so we will see you guys around the channel if you want to stick around um, I did mention our challenge that's going on to get to a giveaway so if that sounds interesting go check that out 
So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys around.